everyone and welcome back to Turbo Dismount. So this update for Turbo Dismount is called Off-Road Season and it adds this helmet right here that you can see and it also adds the tumbler. Try not to get triggered while you're on it. Alright, so let's see what kind of poses we have for this thing. We got sitting on the front, doing that. Oh, is he twerking? Like that is definitely an intentional twerk, guys, because that is way too much wiggling for just normal physics. And also we have that way. Okay, a little bit of a bad idea to stick your head down at the exhaust, especially with that big old thing coming off the end of your helmet. But okay, if you want to burn your face off, that's your own prerogative, not mine. And back to normal again. So, uh, I still have a bunch of levels that I didn't play last time. I downloaded a whole lot of workshop levels. So, um, we'll just play through a few of those today, try out this vehicle, and just screw around, as we usually do in this game. It's not like I really have any kind of, um you know, motive when I play. This one is called Highway Rampage, and I'm almost positive that I already played it, but it says that it's a new level, so I, I thought I would like go in and check it out anyway. Um, so where are you actually driving here? Okay, you get your own steering. Oh, it's the only thing you can do. Well, I'll show you a Highway Rampage. I'm gonna drive normally and get all the way to the end, assuming it's easy to drive this thing. It's not bad, okay? There, there are worse vehicles to try and drive. Just gotta be careful with the steering and Yay! Hurts for me! And my body broke in half, I think. This is why you, um, always wear a helmet. So, how about we try merging into traffic? I wonder if that's possible. You think I could merge into traffic, guys? I don't really know how fast I have to go to do that. So, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna need to go a little bit faster in order to merge. See? This is why I don't own any sort of, like, motorcycle. Because I don't want that to happen to me. Okay, this is gonna be way too fast, I think. But let's try it. Here we go! Successful merge in three, uh, the, now, or not. Merge, baby, merge, disco inferno. This is the closest I've gotten so far, guys, but I still need more. I mean, I didn't, I didn't hurt myself this time. I actually got all the way through, so that's pretty good, but let's just see if we can manage to merge and get to the end and hit the thing without touching the car behind us. Because when you touch the car, he slows down so that, you know, there's, uh, well, I was going to say he slows down so that there's not an accident, but if, when he slows down, there is an accident, so... Okay, that works too. Let's uh, let's go with that much. That's the one right here. This is the one. This is the merge coming up, guys. Okay, and merging in, baby. Yeah, I got it. No, 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 no. He touched me, guys. He touched me. I think we need full speed for this, guys. Full speed. Yeah, I got myself a little wheelie and everything then. And I still can't merge, guys. I I, I suck. Okay, even at full speed, I can't do it. So I've decided to throw myself into traffic. No escape. What is, is that? Windmills down there? Well, of course there's no escape. You just you just put me in a box with a bunch of windmills, asshole. Okay, what do we got? Any kind of steering here? Just regular steering, or um, you know, custom steering. That that seems pretty straightforward. Okay, well we'll just send you in here. I can't see this taking very long to do. Okay, it's like a blender, guys. That is actually pretty insane. I need to destroy something bigger now. Where's my, uh, where's my character anyway? First person camera, character camera. Okay, so he's a loaf of bread. Cool. Okay, uh, let's try, let's try, try putting him in the delivery van, okay? The, the default vehicle. Here you go. Let's see what you can do. Whoa! Two hits and his entire body was just disintegrated. Okay, where is the, uh, vehicle? There it is. Yep. Okay, so if you want, if you want to beat the crap out of your vehicle and just remove everything that's removable, just stick it in here. Seems to work pretty damn well. Okay, let's go with the biggest vehicle in the game, guys. Red Hot Engine. I don't think it's really going to make a difference. It's just going to get all broken up, but I'm not really sure how this one breaks up, so we'll see. Okay, I think it doesn't. I haven't actually seen anything fall off it. Alright, what is that? Oh, that's the helmet. Okay, so I think our dude is dead. Oh no, there's his body. His body's looking pretty good. As long as we can reattach his head, I think it'll be fine. Oh wait, hang on a second. He doesn't have any arms either. Oh! Oh! Damn! I thought you were done. Rainbow Road. Okay, so this is... Whoa! This is super freaking long. So drive up there, go it around, come down here, go under this, go over here, and then fly off the end. I can't see this being that easy, but I'm gonna go with the wedge here, okay? Because that's obviously a good choice. What kind of poses you got on this thing? I think we're gonna go with this one here, because I feel like it might be pretty easy for him to stay on. I don't know though, maybe it's really hard to stay on in that position. And he's gone. And we're gone. He's holding on though. Oh, okay. He uh, he like hooked around the, um, the little frame there. I thought he was gonna be okay and stay in the vehicle, but nope. 
So we'll put you inside the vehicle instead, buddy. I think that might work better. We'll make you go nice and... See, why Why is that a thing? You saw that I actually, you know, gave it a little bit of, um, a little bit of power, I suppose. And it just stopped. How about here? There you go. Okay, there's a really fine line between no power and too much. Well, anyway, guys, I think we hit that nail on the head with the speed. Because we're doing pretty good, okay? And the finish is over there. I like how they call it a finish when really it's just a big old ramp to your death. You're doing great, buddy. I mean, who is actually controlling this vehicle? Because it... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Stay in there. Stay with me. You're almost there. Uh, what? What are you... No, 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 no. No. I didn't even get to see him crash. Okay, so I got to make it a little bit faster, guys. So right now, uh, we're right down here with... Okay, I got to look at that for a second and make sure I get just above it now. Mmm, that's not gonna be easy. That's that's gonna be way too much. We'll see what happens, okay? Let's see how it plays out. Okay. Alright, he's alive. <laughs> I don't really know how well this is gonna go because he keeps swerving trying to get back on the path. And away he goes. There, that is slightly faster than it was before. I'm almost positive. So maybe this time it won't start counting down until we're already over the edge and we'll be able to crash. Oh god, he's gonna start swerving, isn't he, guys? Nope, nope, nope. This is good. This is good. I think we're gonna do okay. He fell out. Are you still holding on, buddy? I think you still got a couple arms holding on, but just careful. N not too many G-forces now, okay? Keep your G-forces low. I'm so worried for this guy. Like, so worried. Oh! He let go! Don't ever let go! Oh, the car, it's going too fast. It's gonna fall out, it's gonna- No! You fell out! Now the car goes by itself. This is bullshit, man. Well, I mean, if the car can crash, I'll be happy, guys, because... Yeah. We managed to hit the wall. That's okay, I guess. I mean, is there a vehicle that's better suited to getting around corners and turns and things? I didn't think there was. Like, I don't think the shuriken can do it because the shuriken is like probably gonna make him fall over really quick. Let's just let's go about halfway speed on this thing and see how it works. Okay, okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad, guys. It it's got pretty decent handling. It's just that he flew the ramp a bit too hard. He didn't have time to turn. So this should be the right amount. Mmm, yeah, okay, okay. L a lot less swerving with a motorcycle, I think, so this should be good. Look at those turns, man. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> All right, I, I, I have faith in this one, guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. He fell off. Well, at least we get to see him hurt himself this time. Slightly. His feet fell off the bike. That was him getting hurt. You know what? We might as well just use the tumbler here, guys, because it's a new vehicle, and I'm supposed to be trying it out. So maybe this is the vehicle we need, okay? We got the um, the stability of a vehicle with the turning power of a uh, motorcycle. So if we put those two together, I think we should be pretty good. It's a little bit slower, I think. Yeah, it actually seems like it's a lot slower. All right, it's going really fast, guys, but this is a, a lot slower of a vehicle, so I'm thinking maybe it'll be okay. Whoa! Man, you think you could maybe, like, I don't know, wake up while you're driving your vehicle? Like, he looks like he's completely passed out here. Is this what we do? We drug people up? That's why... Uh, okay. I was gonna say, that's why they, um, you know, don't do anything and always fall out. Because they're actually passed out. Okay. Well, I mean, that's the lost cause, guys. We're not getting through that, so we'll move on. Round and round and down. What are these things? Are they... Oh, these are bowling pins. So where are the bowling pins? Underneath? What? There's nothing. Okay. Well, we'll just we'll just try and drive through it. Let's see how this. Full speed! I did it. Mm, nope. Okay. So the entire bottom is filled with bowling pins. Okay. So we knock some over. So let's see how much damage we can cause to all the other bowling pins. Can we do it? Can we knock them all down? Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh yeah. I think I think we did. I think we knocked all the bowling pins down. Maybe some of the corner aren't knocked down. I'm not really sure. Mm, not good enough for me. We gotta do it again. Let's do it in a more powerful vehicle. So then if we hit the vehicles, um, everything will just go a lot further. So let's try... Um, have I even used the Ricky Tick much? I don't think I have. It's kind of a cool vehicle. Yeah, let's try that. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, and now we'll go to free camera. So we can watch all the bowling pins hopefully fall down. Really? Is that it? None, none of you guys are gonna fall down? This is worse than last time. Oh, I'll show you who's boss. I am gonna go with the Maximus. That's I think that's the heaviest vehicle in the game, guys. It's that or the uh, the fire engine, but this one is cooler, okay. 
because it's a freaking uh, tractor trailer. See, man, that, that hardly even moved. Jesus, I it almost didn't even fall down here. Okay, but it did. So maybe it'll cause lots of um, lots of bowling pins to fly everywhere. It hardly even moved them, guys. This just gets worse every time. So realistically, guys, there should be a way to get through this, right? If I take the shuriken and go full speed, I should eventually be able to actually get through the vehicles, right? There's gotta be little gaps. In there is definitely little gaps in there. Okay, there's not even much going here now. Okay, I hit a barrier. So why was there less vehicles that time? See that? There's not that many at all. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Go, 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 go. Ah. Mm. Ah. Come on, there's gaps in there. There's lots of gaps in there. How am I so bad at getting through them? Damn it. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Nope. Yep. We got it. We got it. And over to the other side and hit by vehicles and destroyed. So, not really much of a different outcome if you actually get through it, guys. Just so you know. I think I did this one already, guys. Is this the one that's completely made of a, um, like a booster or am I thinking of a different one? Let's see. All right, so we'll see if we can do like a loop here. Yes, we can. I mean, our guy fell off, but we definitely did the loop, and it was pretty damn impressive. So, that's good. Maybe we can do a loop in the uh, tumbler. I don't know if this is going to happen, guys, because of the fact that the tumbler is so much slower. But we'll get some more speed, okay? Uh, we're at 100, 90, 110 kilometers per hour. 120 kilometers per hour. I like how when, they actually, when it actually gears up, it, uh, it slows down the acceleration for a second. 137, 138. Uh, I think that's the best we're going to do. Let's try it. Nope. We gotta do it gently, guys. That's that's the thing. Okay, look at that. When you do it gently, you can actually kind of do it. We landed! I don't care. Our wheels touched the ground for a second, and look at that. It's actually still going, and I can control it. So, uh, yes. Yeah. See you later, Mr. Ego. So, yeah, we kind of just gave up at the end, for whatever reason. So, so that's good. Tuesday morning, version point two. Okay, so are we in a house right now? We're in, we're in some sort of house. There's some beams over there for some reason. There's some bowling balls and, um, I don't know. What do you think those things are supposed to be on the, on, uh, stacked up here on the shelf? Bricks? Yeah, I mean, like, I can, like, I like to keep a brick or two in my house. Usually, uh, out there on my bookshelf. It's all good. I stole a streetlight at some point and a, and a, and a pylon. So, yeah. Typical Tuesday morning for me as well. Let's see what we can do here. Go. Okay, we've made it out to the street. We managed to not hit that thing. We only just grazed it. We're driving down the road. Typical Tuesday so far. And then we get hit by a train, of course. Or not. I thought I was going that way, but apparently I wasn't. See, this is a much safer road speed. 45 kilometers per hour. Most of the um, most of the speed limits, at least around here, are 50 kilometers per hour in towns and cities. So that's good. So now we got to turn right here. So be careful. It's a sharp turn. You're good. You got it, buddy. You are amazing. Hmm... So we're just sightseeing on a Tuesday? What is that? What is that supposed to be? This is the thing with a string coming off it. Okay, coming over to this train station. We're making another turn. Oh, crap. We made it past the train. And we've completed our dismount. We've driven to a parking lot. You think we could, if we make this a little bit better, we could actually get to the parking lot and perhaps, I don't know, park, sort of? This might be too much, but we'll find out. 70 something kilometers per hour this time guys. I don't know how I feel about that 75 kilometers per hour 76 and oh Oh, oh Come on you just hit your head a little bit. You should have kept going. We're going pretty much just as fast as before guys I don't know why but be careful careful. Oh, oh get back up 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 He's not getting back up. It's either this one or it's not going to work at all, guys, because that is the perfect amount below the one that we just had before, and it's the perfect amount above the one that we had before that. So we're going about 60, 65 or so. Okay, that's good. Top speed around this corner of 63. Good. And look at that. We stayed on it. Okay, so now all we got to do is not get hit by the train, and we'll be able to make it all the way, I guess. I don't even know where we're going, so maybe. Careful, buddy. Careful. Oh. Oh, and we're gonna dodge the train because the other train just went and there's the parking lot guys So we're gonna turn into the parking lot and It's amazing Yes Done typical Tuesday complete. All right guys well, I think that's a good place to end this video So thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video Don't forget to leave a like and I will see you next time. Goodbye